Welcome to the Micronauts Banana Pie Review. It has been said that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. If that's true, then the Raspberry Pi Foundation should be very flattered. As a baby boomer who grew up during the personal computer revolution, the cloning of the Raspberry Pi seems very familiar to me. First, there were Apple clones. Then Compaq cloned the IBM PC. You could say that the success of the Raspberry Pi just might be starting a second computer revolution. Is the Banana Pi trying to hitch a ride on the Raspberry Pi success? Yes. But is that necessarily a bad thing? The Raspberry Pi is based on a Broadcom system on a chip, and the Banana Pi is based on an Owner A20 system on a chip. Both use Linux as their operating system, and as such, there's a large degree of software compatibility. Will the compatibility be perfect? No, they're based on different chips. As I'm not a lawyer, nor do I play one on TV, I will not spend a lot of time considering if the words Banana Pi violate the Raspberry Pi Foundation's trademark on Raspberry Pi. And nothing I say in this review is to be construed as legal advice, because it's not. As a layman, I will just note that Pi is a standard name for a mathematical quantity and that banana does not sound like raspberry, nor does a banana look like a raspberry. I think if anyone is ill-advised enough to come out with a blueberry pie, strawberry pie, or blackberry pie as a clone of the raspberry pie, a much stronger case could be made for the presence of a trademark violation. For your information, I was not paid by anyone to write this review, and I purchased all of the boards being tested and all the test equipment myself to avoid any perception of potential bias. Does the banana pie look like a raspberry pie? From left to right, you can see a banana pie, a Raspberry Pi Model B, and a Raspberry Pi Model B+. Yep, the banana pie does look similar to the Raspberry Pi Model B, but they're definitely not identical. Given Leanmaker's desire that the banana pie be able to use the Raspberry Pi add-ons, that is to be expected. Even then, there are clear differences. More connectors, slightly larger printed circuit board, different mounting holes, but it sure does look similar. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the printed circuit boards. From left to right, we have a Banana Pi, a Raspberry Pi Model B, and a Raspberry Pi Model B+. While the Banana Pi and the Raspberry Pi Model B looked similar on top, there is a huge difference when you take a look at the backside of the printed circuit board. On the Banana Pi, you can see the A20 processor and the two memory chips providing one gigabyte of RAM. Now let's take a closer look at the Banana Pi. We can see the gigabit ethernet port, dual USB ports, and the 38 kilohertz infrared receiver. On the side facing us, we see a stereo audio jack, a microphone, a video jack, and a 26 pin Raspberry Pi compatible IO header. Going around the corner, we find a power button, reset button, and a micro USB on the go connector. On the far side of the banana pie, we have a SATA power connector, a micro USB DC input, a SATA connector, and an HDMI connector, along with an additional push button. On top, we can also find the camera and LCD connectors. Here's a closer look at the back of the banana pie. As you can see, due to the larger number of components being placed on the back, there was space for additional features, such as the very important SATA port and the as yet underutilized battery and charge controller and real-time clock chip. While I wish the Banana Pi had used a micro SD connector like the Raspberry Pi Model B, at least the large SD card connector used on the Banana Pi is sturdier than the open frame connector used on the Raspberry Pi Model A and B. I placed a Raspberry Pi Model B on top of the Banana Pi so that you can see the differences in alignment better. On the left, you can see that the Banana Pi's mounting hole extends past the end of the Raspberry Pi's printed circuit board. On the right, you can see that the 26-pin GPIO connector was moved to the left in order to make space for the mounting hole on the other side. I thought it would be useful to do a feature comparison between the Banana Pi and Raspberry Pi's Model A, B, and B+. The Banana Pi is based on an all-winner A20 dual-core ARM version 7 912 MHz system on a chip. The Raspberry Pi models A, B, and B Plus are all based on a Broadcom BCM2835 
single core ARM version 6 processor running at 700 megahertz. The Banana Pies GPU is based on the Mali 400 and while it does have video hardware decode, the drivers are a work in progress. The Raspberry Pi's video core 4 processor comes with binary blobs for video decoding, so it has a better video decode capability at the moment. The Banana Pi comes with 1 gigabyte of DDR3 memory clocked at 432 megahertz, whereas the Raspberry Pi Model A comes with 256 megabytes of memory clocked at 400 megahertz, and the Raspberry Pi Models B and B Plus both come with 512 megabytes of memory clocked at 400 megahertz. The Banana Pi has a 26-pin GPIO header, and it also provides an additional 10 header pins. The Raspberry Pi models A and B on Revision 1 boards provided the 26-pin GPIO header. Revision 2 added an additional 8 pins for use on the bottom of the board. The Banana Pi provides a parallel camera interface that is not compatible with the Raspberry Pi's CSI interface. The Banana Pi provides an LVDS LCD interface, whereas the Raspberry Pis provide a DSI based interface. The Banana Pi provides 10 100 gigabit Ethernet using the controller built into the All Winner A20 system on a chip. The Raspberry Pi Model A does not provide an Ethernet jack, and the Raspberry Pi Models B and B Plus rely on an external USB hub slash Ethernet controller to provide a 10 slash 100 megabit Ethernet interface. The Banana Pi and the Raspberry Pis all provide SD based storage, HDMI out, video out, and 3.5 millimeter stereo audio jack. The Banana Pi provides two USB hosts and one USB on the go ports. The Raspberry Pi Model A provides one USB host port, the Model B provides two USB host ports, and the new Model B Plus provides four USB host ports. The Banana Pi provides a number of features not available on the Raspberry Pis, including a real-time clock, a microphone, infrared sensor, power button, reset button, and U-boot button. So how much do these boards cost? The Banana Pi lists for $50. The Raspberry Pi Model A for $25 and the models B and B Plus for $35 each. The feature table makes it pretty clear that the Banana Pi is quite different from the Raspberry Pi, providing superior capabilities in most cases with the exception of the GPU and the CSI interface. For me, the SATA connector, real-time clock, double the memory and two cores are very worthwhile additions which will appeal to power users. I thought it would be interesting to see what operating systems were available for the Banana Pi and the Raspberry Pi on their official sites at the date the review was written. For the Banana Pi, LeanMaker.org has Raspbian, Fedora, Arc Linux, Lubuntu, and OpenSUSE, Bananian, a light server, and a Scratch a distribution. BananaPi.com adds Android 4.22 and 4.4 beta, as well as Kali Linux, OpenWRT, NOS, Kano, and Mobis. Of course, the list of supported OSs will change over time. For the Raspberry Pi, raspberrypi.org has Raspbian, Pydora, Arc Linux, Risk OS, OpenELEC, RasBMC, and a Noobs image for both a full install and network install. Software compatibility. During the course of the review, version 3.1 of the Raspbian port from the Raspberry Pi was released. First thing I did was I installed a number of the applications I normally use on the Raspberry Pi. GIMP, Scrot, Gedit, Joe, LibreOffice, Chromium, Simple IDE, and XRDP along with Remina installed easily without any difficulties whatsoever. So I guess I have to say that with regard to the user level apps that I normally use, the compatibility of Raspbian on the Banana Pi with the Raspberry Pi is excellent. GPIO. One of the strengths of the Raspberry Pi is the availability of great community written open source software. Gordon Henderson, at Drogon on Twitter, has written some excellent open source programs and libraries for the Raspberry Pi, which LeanMaker has been porting to the Banana Pi. WiringPi is Gordon's library for C and C++, 
allowing easy access to the Pi's I.O. with a strong wire ring slash Arduino flavor. He also wrote a very handy command line GPIO utility for manipulating I.O. from the command line. Ben Croston maintains a repository for the Python interface rpy.gpio, which he published under an unrestricted, essentially public domain license. And there's a wiki that provides documentation for it. Why did I talk about the C slash C++ wiring library, the rpy.gpio Python library, and the command line GPIO utility? Because they have all been ported to the Banana Pi, making it easier to use the Raspberry Pi documentation, tutorials, and example code on the Banana Pi. I decided to use PyJumper Plus to test the Banana Pi's port of Wiring Pi and RPy.gpio. The Wiring Pi test, using the shown C code, worked just fine. I compiled it exactly as shown above. The Python test also worked without any issues. So did the GPIO utility from the command line. It's worth noting that the LeeMaker port of the GPIO library and wiring pi automatically adjusts the BCM Broadcom pin numbers to the A20 equivalent. So all of the examples that you see on the net that work with the Broadcom pin numbers will work with the ports of the libraries on the banana pi. Multimedia. Driver support for the video capabilities of the A20 is being worked on, so hopefully before long we will have great MPEG-2 and H.264 decoding. The all-winner A20 is actually capable of playing back 4K files, so it should only be a matter of time before there is good multimedia support. Of course, the Raspberry Pi already has excellent multimedia support, so if your usage involves playing 1080p video, the Raspberry Pi is a better choice for you. I was surprised to find Wolfram and Mathematica on the Banana Pi port of Raspbian. The Banana Pi is not licensed for them, and as the software requires a key, it is a waste of disk space to include them. Unless, of course, LeeMaker negotiates for a license for them at a later date. Hardware compatibility. One of the chief complaints that I anticipate about the Banana Pi is that it is not 100% hardware compatible. As it uses a different system on a chip, it cannot be 100% hardware compatible. The mounting holes are also in a different place, which in my opinion is not significant, as there were no mounting holes before revision 2 of the Raspberry Pi, and the new Model B Plus has moved them again. I thought I'd see how my products, which were designed for the Raspberry Pi, fit on and work with the Banana Pi, as that would give an indication on how other third-party Raspberry Pi add-ons may work with the Banana Pi. RoboPi RoboPi is my advanced robot controller that has an 8-core microcontroller for adding hard real-time control to the Raspberry Pi, and I was anxious to see how it would fit and work with the Banana Pi. Since publishing the web review, I have been able to verify that RoboPi works well with the Banana Pi using both C C++ and Python interfaces. As you can see, RoboPi fits quite nicely on top of the Banana Pi, However, I would recommend putting a piece of electrical tape on the USB and Ethernet jacks on the Banana Pi. PyJumper. I'm happy to report that PyJumper and PyJumper Plus just worked. Due to the extra tall 26-pin header, PyJumper did not have any issues with clearing the video jack, and the IDC ribbon cable also fit nicely. I used PyJumper for my GPIO and wiring Pi tests, and it just worked. EasySPy. I was happy to see that my EasySPy prototyping board for the Raspberry Pi also works well with the Banana Pi. As you can see, this particular EasySPy had a 170 point breadboard and round female pin headers added to it for quick prototyping. The board clears the USB and Ethernet jacks, but it never hurts to put electrical tape on those jacks. Adafruit prototyping plate. I had one of Lady Ada's open source prototyping boards handy, so I thought I'd show it mounted on the Banana Pi. And here's a side view. Just like EasyS Pi, Adafruit's prototyping plate fits nicely on the Banana Pi. Wi Fi USB stick compatibility. As far as Wi Fi sticks I've had a chance to test so far go, the Banana Pi tested the same as the Raspberry Pi Model B. Both without a powered hub would only work with one of the Wi Fi sticks I had handy. 
Since publishing the review, I've started a Banana Pi Wi-Fi USB test article on my site, which now has test results for 8 Wi-Fi sticks and will be updated every time I test new Wi-Fi sticks. Documentation and third-party books. The great thing about Linux is that it is a widely used standard operating system. Debian is one of the most popular Linux distributions, and Raspbian is based on Debian for ARM processors, providing a great deal of compatibility between the Raspberry Pi and the Banana Pi. There's a wealth of books, magazine articles, how-tos, tutorials, and FAQs on Debian that apply equally as well to Raspbian, regardless of what hardware it is running on, as long as it does not require a specific hardware platform feature. A fair amount of the documentation and books written for the Raspberry Pi will be useful to Banana Pi owners, except software that requires unique Raspberry Pi features mandated by its processor or GPU. Thanks to the efforts to port the GPIO libraries, WiringPy and RPy.GPIO library functions will work the same way. However, the PyGPIO and Servo Blaster libraries won't work due to differences in DMA implementation. Benchmarks. Benchmarks that did not already average multiple run results were run two to four times depending on the length of the test and averaged. Sysbench version 0.4.12. On a per core basis, the Banana Pi is 34% faster for CPU operations and has more than twice the memory bandwidth than the Raspberry Pi. Using both cores, the Banana Pi is more than three times faster for CPU and has roughly five times the memory bandwidth compared to the Raspberry Pi. iPerf version 2.0.5 On a 100 megabit network, the Banana Pi has roughly twice the Ethernet throughput of a Raspberry Pi. On a gigabit network, the Banana Pi has more than 10 times as much throughput compared to a Raspberry Pi. Nbench version 2.2.3 Using only a single core, the Banana Pi has roughly 53% more integer performance and almost twice the floating point performance of a Raspberry Pi. Unix Bench version 5.1.3 Using a single core, the Banana Pi was almost twice as fast as the Raspberry Pi. And when using both cores, the Banana Pi was more than three times as fast as the Raspberry Pi for the dry stone, wet stone, and Tower of Hanoi tests. HD PARM and DD SD card benchmarks. When using buffered reads or writes, the Banana Pi was more than twice as fast as the Raspberry Pi. Strangely, when using unbuffered reads and writes, the Raspberry Pi tended to be about 20% faster than the Banana Pi. Power utilization. The chart above shows the Banana Pi powering on, automatically going to the desktop, opening a web browser, and after that, it shut down. This took roughly 84 seconds. This chart shows the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus powering on, automatically going to the desktop, and the web browser being opened, after which it is shut down. As you can see, this took roughly 150 seconds. For average idle current, the Raspberry Pi Model A still has the lowest power consumption, with the new Raspberry Pi Model B Plus using a little less juice than the Banana Pi does. However, note that the Banana Pi has twice the memory and roughly three times the processing power, so a bit of extra power consumption compared to the new Raspberry Pi Model B Plus is quite understandable. The older Raspberry Pi Model B is left in the proverbial dust. After a software shutdown, the Banana Pi is the clear winner. It was not even a contest. The Banana Pi does fully turn off, unlike the Raspberry Pis. Support. There's absolutely no question that the community support available for the Raspberry Pi dwarfs that available for the Banana Pi. There's a virtually unstoppable flood of postings on the Raspberry Pi forums compared to a trickle on the Banana Pi forums. Mind you, the Raspberry Pi has been available for a couple of years now, and the Banana Pi has only started selling in July. Having said that, the LeeMaker staff provides great support on their forums, I received prompt and accurate replies to my postings on their forums from the staff and have not had a single post go unanswered. Conclusion. The Banana Pi is a great little board with significantly higher computing power and additional features that make it a better choice than the Raspberry Pi for highly technical users who do not need the community support the Raspberry Pi has and who need a faster CPU, SATA, or faster Ethernet. 
In the benchmarks run for this review, the Banana Pi won every race except raw SD card performance, where the Raspberry Pi had an approximately 20% advantage. On the other hand, if you're an educational user who needs the teaching resources that the Raspberry Pi Foundation assists with, and the large user community, the Raspberry Pi is a better choice for you. In these budget-limited times, even the $15 difference in price is significant. And let's face it, the faster CPU, Ethernet, and SATA capability don't really matter in the classroom, at least not in the K to 8 range. The Raspberry Pi also has a multimedia edge, so XBMC users are better served with the Raspberry Pi at this time. That may change in time with better driver support for the all-winner A20. I expect we will see more Raspberry Pi clones as the new super low-cost single-board computer ecosystem evolves. Welcome to the second computer revolution. What I liked? The dual-core all-winner A20's far greater compute performance, 1 gigabyte of memory, SATA port, gigabit Ethernet, onboard real-time clock, no current draw when off. What I didn't like? Currently lacking in hardware video decode support, Default of 128 megabytes assigned to video. RCA video jack is a bit too close to the GPIO header. Wolfram and Mathematica being on the Banana Pi port of Raspbian. Berry Clip clone being called Berry Clip, troubling as the original Berry Clip is not open source hardware. If you would like to discuss this review or any of our other articles or products, please visit us at the Micronauts forums at http colon slash slash forums.micronauts.com. Thank you for watching the Micronauts Banana Pi video review. You can find the web version and many other interesting articles and products at http colon slash slash micronauts.com.